Hi guys, today we start a walk through my garage, but uh, unlike you might assume, it's not in California, not even in America, we are in Germany here. This is not my uh, truck, it belongs to a friend, but I thought I'll show it, it might be interesting, it's a 1979 Ford F-250 with a 460 cubic inch engine, <clears throat> which 1979 was already uh, discontinued for uh, passenger vehicles, but for the trucks, uh, Ford uh, still used that engine up until the 80s, I think. We continue here with a 1970 Imperial. I think to say Chrysler Imperial would not be correct because uh, back then um, it was an own brand. It does not belong to me, it belongs to a friend. It's really powerful to get the 440 engine. By the way, here's a BMW convertible from the 90s, also not my car. Um, and this one is really powerful. It's 1970, still high compression. And here we get a 1968 Buick Riviera. Well, I'm not such a fan of the color combination, but um, the guy who owns it loves it. Okay, and now these are the two first of my cars. This is a 1973 Oldsmobile Toronado. Both these cars have front wheel drive, yeah. And the Toronado has the 455 um, a rocket engine. It's really, it's a strong and powerful car. Although 1973, you might think a reduced compression, but it's really going very well. It's triple black. We will uh, continue to see a triple white Lincoln. This one is triple black. Has a wonderful vinyl roof. Um, the whole body is free of rust. And I really love it because it has a Flowmaster exhaust system it's really it's the loudest uh, this one yeah and this one here is definitely the gem of my collection it's a 1976 Cadillac Eldorado convertible with only 3,000 miles that's unbelievable and it drives like new the engine runs like new the top uh, the interior everything it's Firethorn red with a white top and white interior. Let's have a look inside. Yeah, I have to remove these rubber carpets. Um, it starts well, the top operates perfectly. It's a wonderful car. Unfortunately, I can't help to put more miles on it when the weather is fine and you can drive with the top down. So let's have a look. On the back side, beautiful car. Yeah, um, some of you experts might notice that the hubcaps are not period correct. They're 1974. In 1976, they had black hubcaps. Now, what is this? This is a tiny thing. It's a BMW Isetta. It's not mine. It was a very small vehicle. You know, after the war, Germany was poor and many people could not afford big cars here. So I have to switch on the light every now and then. Let's look under the skirt. Yeah, a very, very tiny vehicle and with a, a suitcase on top. So, but let's close it again. And let's continue to my other three cars here. This one is a 1979. Lincoln Continental Mark V Collector Series. It has here the vinyl padded Continental, how do you call it, Continental hump, and um, runs very well. A very rare color, it's diamond blue moon dust, and um, only 197 were produced in that color. Uh, 1979 in the US, it was the most expensive domestic car with about $21,000. And let's have a look inside. It has blue velour interior, wonderful, no cracks, nothing. 
I love it, drives perfectly. It has the 400 cubic inch engine <coughs> and I put an Edelbrock um, carburetor on it. It goes pretty good. Um, I like it, but of course it's no muscle car. So in this one is the newest acquisition. I bought it in Canada um, with only 18,000 miles. It's 20, 28,000 kilometers. Um, it has a kilometer odometer and uh, you see there's no license plate on it. I will get that next week, hopefully. And uh, I can't wait to take it on the road. But from what I've seen, it seems to be a really great car. Let's have a look inside. Yeah, this one is triple white. A white vinyl roof, white body and white interior. And looks very good. Um, no cracks, no tears and starts good, uh, runs good. And um, I will um, show it in, in another video the next days. So please subscribe to my channel. Let's look in here also in these famous opera windows. I love it. It's a very beautiful car. And now the last one, it's a 1976 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. And uh, I love it very much. You know, uh, the funny thing about it, I once was an exchange student in the USA, in Tennessee. And a car like this, of course not in this beautiful shape, was my very first car when I was 17 years old. It was a 1975 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. It was actually was a piece of rust. I bought it for $800, but I loved it. Can you imagine that a boy from Germany drives such a huge car as his first? Well, this was my first car and let's have a look uh, inside. It's the opposite color combination than the Eldorado convertible. It uh, has a white body and a red interior, but also completely flawless, and uh, I love it. So, that was about it. Let's take a look um, at the back of this car. It also has the 500 cubic inch, 8.2 liter. Uh, engine like the Eldorado. So um, I hope you liked my video and if you want to see more uh, which will be coming in the next few weeks then subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.